Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my new playlist which I am going to cover for web development uh, roadmap. And it is going to cover everything about web development for beginners or absolute beginners or maybe intermediate developers. Okay. I am already running few set of uh, playlists. I will just give a status where we are. I will be launching this next CS crash course web development roadmap. And JavaScript with algorithm and data structure that is already going on. JavaScript daily relations where I am publishing the videos about JavaScript features and the core concepts of, about core JavaScript and this playlist I am starting. Okay, here we are talking about web development roadmap and it is going to be a master course. I already have published Node.js master course and the React.js master course but now I am covering web development uh, roadmap or you can say the master course which will start from the basic HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, SAS, slash. I mean we are going to cover the whole path of the basic web development. Whole path when I talk about the whole path I am talking about this. Okay, So people might have already seen this diagram which is talking about learning the basics of HTML, what is HTTP protocol, socket protocol, how the, your browser is communicating with your website, how it is fetching the data, how it is able to populate the your website on the browser, then how to write your HTML, CSS, JavaScript for your website, then all these different tools and technologies we are I'm going to cover in a single playlist. I'm not going to cover a separate playlist for Webpack, for separate for Git basics, JavaScript, CSS, Ajax, XHR, DOM manipulations, all these things I'm going to cover in a single master playlist so if you are beginner and you wanted to learn all these things then you will be able to understand all these things because the important part is the styling using positioning display box model css grid flexbox all these things i'm going to cover okay so let's see what all things we have i have eight plus years of experience and uh, i was thinking to cover this playlist uh, long ago but now it is the time i will be covering all about web development in a single playlist. I already have a React.js. So once you are done with the basic web development with the different different applications, then you can get started with one of the JavaScript framework. Okay, we are going to talk about all these things: HTML5, CSS, AJAX, API, Git, Web, DOM, SEO, HTTP, Socket, HTTPS, different packaging tools like npm, yarn. Uh, different tools like webpack, parcel, a bundler tool, right? And then what ID you should choose, right? Uh, what is a webpack? All these different names you can see on my screen. These all different terms or technologies we are going to cover in depth like Flexbox, CSS, Grid, how to write UI UX, how to create layouts in HTML5, how to make an XHR request in the network request for your website. Like consider that you are writing your website uh, like hello world.com right then how to write your layouts and how you can actually write pages for it and once you publish or deploy your application to some hosting provider then how it works right then how you are making ajax call ajax call is like in your website you wanted to fetch some data from somewhere right you wanted to fetch the best products which amazon is already having right so that will be an Ajax call you will be making from your JavaScript code in your website and getting the data. So all these terms, APIs, right? Uh, APIs, you 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 already ha having the backend or you will be writing the backend after learning the basic concepts. Then you will be writing the full stack. In that case, you will be getting the data from some APIs, right? Using HTTP protocol. Git for version control. This is expected that if you are writing the application, then you should be able to have a you should be able to push the code to the gate. You should have a GitHub account and all those things. You should be able to understand how DOM manipulation works. What is a DOM tree when your website renders on the browser? What actually happens with that HTML document? It is going to create this DOM tree. What all DOM tree components are, right? And then search engine optimization. If you wanted to publish your website, uh, then how the Google will crawl your website so that your pages become visible. These are different protocols, okay? NPM and YARN are actually different tools. Now, 
we are not writing the code in the old school now we are using the javascript package managers like npm yarn we are having the package load json installing the modules and then deploying the application to either heroku netlify digital ocean all these platforms different tools ids we are going to cover right so if you talk about the course overview for the beginner 100 set of videos I will be covering HTML5, CSS and the stylings using different framework like either you use Flexbox, CSS Grid, right? Or advanced CSS where I will be talking about the positioning, layout, display properties and the bootstrap grid design. Uh, HTML5 advanced level where we will talk about the canvas, uh, the local storage, cookie storage, session storage. HTML5 basics, we'll talk about the home validations, HTML5 layouts, HTML5 new tags which has been introduced. Then CSS building blocks, right? CSS box model, how you can debug the CSS which is displayed on the browser by inspecting the CSS and changing the hover, focus, pressed properties or by just randomly changing the font family font size margin padding padding all these properties okay so this co this roadmap course is going to be full fledged one single course because i don't want developers to look at 10 different places to learn a single thing it will be a single place so what we are starting with is how http works if you wanted to build your own website like tkssarma.com my own website I, I need to have understanding about how HTTP work, how this domain naming work, how can I purchase domain name, how can I host my website once I have my web pages ready, right? First of all, to build the website, I need to have understanding about HTML5, CSS, if I'm putting some form, then form validations, HTML5 new tags, sections, HTML5 layouts, right? All these things then I should be able to have a good understanding about DOM manipulations Ajax then coming back coming to the JavaScript knowledge where you should have a good understanding on core JavaScript ES5 ES6 and then understand all these core JavaScript concept which is talking about event bubbling hoisting prototype object proto function prototype right shadow DOM DOM manipulations and then once your code is ready, you will be putting it somewhere on the GitHub, right? So that you can deploy it somewhere. So you will be putting the GitHub, so you should have an understanding on version control system, either GitLab, GitHub, Bitbucket, anywhere. Then if you want to write some kind of a framework, then you should have an understanding on these Yarn, NPM kind of a package managers, which will help you to use other tools from JavaScript, tool set like you can use webpack parcel all other tools right css architectures you can use sas post css css modules and then finally till here we are going to cover because below to that we are co covering frameworks so my target is not to cover framework but using the vanilla html css javascript we will build applications and we will use these build tools like npm script webpack module bundlers the linters which will help me to format my code properly with proper guidelines and the rules which javascript enforce on us okay this is my criteria uh, or this is my target to cover from basic to a particular level where you can write your application by yourself using vanilla javascript html css rest is all about framework you can start with any framework you like Vue.js, react.js angular.js you choose one of it and start learning it and now same application whatever you have built without framework you can just build that with a framework what happens in the current scenario is people don't look at the core aspects of javascript and web development they start building applications with the Vue.js and react.js in that case they are missing the core parts they don't know how the event delegation works event bubbling right prototypes proto how to write functions how to create object how to do the object cloning so the basic aspects of javascript is missing there you can learn framework and you can write application but that level of confidence because the same application you should be able to write with a vanilla javascript if i talk about simple writing simple to do application with react that 90 out of 100 will be able to write 
if i talk about writing the same to do application with vanilla javascript where you are doing a dom manipulations document dot get element by id query selector query selector all and doing dom manipulations using um, by adding the event listeners to the buttons when user click on it that is it is trivial right and people will not be able to independently will be able to do it because that is little tricky okay and that is time consuming also but that is clearing out your base concept so you should start from the basics to the advanced okay so this is my target and you already know what we are going to talk about is currently we are talking about the client side means you are writing this is you and you are writing your uh, your application using html css javascript okay once you have your project ready you will be hosting your website somewhere okay and then when you enter your website name.com you will send a request to the internet and wherever your application is deployed a static web application is deployed you will be able to get the response back and your browser which is either chrome mozilla safari will be able to download the html document and you will be able to see the request so currently when you are a like a normal user not even a developer when you write amazon.com or amazon.in you are sending a request to the backend servers and you are getting the doc html document back and you are able to see that site loaded on the browser and on the browser you are executing the client side javascript you are ap applying the styles on the html document which has been downloaded that's why you are able to see the amazon.com nice and clean website where you can see the products and all okay from client side you will be making a lot of ajax call ajax call is just to request the data from the back end like your products your pur purchase history your order history and all this information and this is all about back end so once we are done with the initial back end we will talk about this back end uh, back end systems also and then i will focus more on the full stack technologies if you see my previous set of playlist also they talk about the full stack okay but initially we are covering these three technologies html5 css javascript and how to write the responsive front end web apps then we will do the integration with whatever the back end you will be able to write and then we will create a basic full stack applications okay that's it uh, thanks everyone let's get started with this